your unique story, our global audience. Global One Media. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global One Media's exclusive one-on-one -on -one interviews with company executives sharing insights into their unique journey. I'm your host, Ashley Berry, and we're really excited to have Julian Davey, President and CEO of Tarku Resources, with us today. The exploration company is focused on new discoveries in mining jurisdictions, including Quebec, Canada, and Arizona in the United States. Tarku Resources is listed on the TSX Venture Exchange as TKU, the Frankfurt Exchange as 7TK, and the OTCQB as TRKUF. Julian, it's a pleasure to have you with us today. Hello, Ashley. It's a pleasure to be here also. Thank you. Wonderful. Well, lithium is considered a critical mineral and a vital component in energy storage technologies like batteries, which are essential for making electric vehicles. What's your outlook for the lithium market and what major trends do you foresee? So definitely, yes. What I, how, how I see the, the, the lithium uh, space now is that it is there to stay. Uh, we, we saw during the two, three last decades, a lot of different research done on different type of technology. Um, we, we could think of the, the hydrogen uh, technology, the manganese battery, the sodium ion batteries. There is a lot of different technologies on the energy storage. But uh, the one that the, the electric vehicles uh, has been chosen is the, the lithium ion battery uh, technology. Uh, the automotive industry, what we have to understand is these are big industries that has to take big decision for the long term. And way, when they choose a specific technology, it's there for a, a lot of decades. And if we think on, on, on what the government also is now imposing with the new regulations uh, on the upcoming numbers of vehicle that has to be sold and that has to be electric or at least hybrid, uh, that's, these are the, the main reasons for me that uh, I could say I'm really confident that the lithium battery, that the lithium ion battery is the technology that will remain uh, for the, the next decades. And you mentioned it also on the on the storage side. That's also a big part of the lithium ion battery consumption or, or demand, and that is also a big uh, area which is uh, growing in terms of demand. The, the energy storage. So um, now, will the the lithium market? Uh, stands and will be always high. Of course not. We know that the markets are, are volatile. Sometimes the production and the transformation of the final product of, of, of lithium component uh, for the lithium battery is still controlled by um, a small numbers of players. And that also has an influence on the lithium uh, price. So, but I believe that with the the, the growing demand in general, uh, with the it will generate new players, and we'll see in a more open market. And when we see more open markets, then we have more uh, price open price for 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 the, the 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 mineral itself. So yes, I see a really bright future for the lithium in general. Yeah. And listen, it's no surprise, you know, in the United States, I'm sure in Canada, you're just seeing a growing number of electric vehicles on the road. I'm so glad that you brought up the growing demand uh, point in there. So with several companies now making an entry into the lithium space, do you think it could become a saturated market? Or as we talked about demand, do you think it will just continue to outstrip supply? Um, saturation, that's for sure not for the next uh, 10 or 20 years. Uh, in exploration, we see uh, 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 a lot of, there is always, sorry, there is always the exploration company and the, the producer itself. We, we rarely see producers doing their own exploration and when they need new project, they, they just buy the, the, the project from the explorer. Um, and in North America and other regions in the world too, we are seeing the, the, the demand for spodumene deposits becoming more and more attractive. As mm -hmm. you know, that there are two different types of deposits. We have the brines that was more attractive in the past, and now we are seeing more and more spodumene deposits 
becoming uh, uh, in in demand. That's the reason for that is that the spodumene, uh, when you do a when you want to extract your lithium, it's easier to make to to get a high purity percentage in lithium from a spodumene than from a brine's uh, production. So your question was on on the saturation of the market. But with the demand still growing and the fact that we are far from really reaching our level of electrification, both on the vehicle side and on the storage side, we still have a lot of room for market opportunities. That's for sure. Very helpful. Good projections. You know, Tarku has recently acquired a lithium exploration property. We talked about this a lot, the Max Lithium Project. What's the potential to position Tarku Resources as a major lithium supplier here? Um, I would say that again, uh, when I'm talking about the Max Lithium project, I was I always say uh, the best thing is location, location, location. We are in the heart of the ABTB region, uh, with all the needed infrastructure to develop any lithium project. We are also at four kilometer away from Siona Mining and their North American Lithium deposit, deposit and mill, which is the only. Uh, producing uh, concentrator active in Canada. So from our from uh, from, from our Max Lithium project project, we are really literally seeing the the infrastructure of uh, Sayona mining. Mm. Um, geologically speaking, we are in the same batholith, uh, which means the same swarm of uh, intrusions uh, that brings the lithium rich uh, pegmatites or dikes. And numerous of this pegmatite ha has been reported, and and we have seen them uh, on the ground. The access is by road; it's fairly easy, and and we are now planning the the exploration program to rapidly and better identify those lithium-rich pegmatites, mm -hmm. uh, the one that are containing the spodumene we were ta uh, talking about. So at the location we are. Um, if our project contains those lithium-rich pegmatites, I have no doubt that we'll be able to create a lot of value for our shareholders. Terrific. So you talked about infrastructure. Uh, you talked about overall value. Um, you know, let's talk a little bit about the impact. And, and do you think Tarku will have a strong impact on the lithium market and the green shift overall for years to come? Absolutely. Um, with the, the, there is always thousands of of mineral project to 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 have a, a producing of this mineral mine itself, and and we are working in a safe jurisdiction such as Quebec. Uh, we know the rules there. I'm I'm, I'm a strong believer uh, that if everyone wants to have an impact uh, on a more uh, sustainable future, we should start by producing our own mineral instead of making them traveling all around the, the globe to extract them somewhere, to concentrate them uh, somewhere else, then to transform them and at another place, and then to finally produce something at the, another, a different place again. So that's definitely not sustainable. So in North America, in Canada, in Quebec, we have uh, strict uh, mining regulations that we know. We know the environmental uh, regulation. We know that we have. Uh, we need to have the social acceptability uh, to to be to be able to produce uh, something. So. I'm a strong believer that if we are coming back to more local extraction, transformation, and production, we'll have a better understanding of our of our needs and the impact of our of this green shift that you were mentioning. Uh, we are living in. That's definitely yes. I believe that. Like you're saying, you just don't want to be reliant on others. You want to be able to produce your own and know where it came from and how it was made. Julian Davy, exactly. President and CEO of Tarku Resources. It's always a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you for your time and for these really interesting insights from you today. We look forward to sharing more with our audience. Thank you very much, Ashley. It was a pleasure. 